Well, it seems a lot of the uh, women's liberation movement of late, the sexual liberation and that you spoke about, it seems to advantage men far or, more than well, women. Well, no, no, it doesn't. Well, it because they get the no, sex without the responsibility. Yeah, 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 but it, it doesn't disadvantage men. It disadvantages a very small proportion of hyper-successful and increasingly predatory men. Because yes. it disadvantages most men, because what happens is that when the sexual constraints are lifted off women, they all migrate to a very small percentage of men, 5% maybe. And then those men have an almost unlimited field of sexual access. And so you could say that's a benefit to them, but it's not because it trains them to be manipulative, Machiavellian, instrumental psychopaths because all they're doing is pursuing a string of pleasure-based, hedonistic, short-term relationships. That's bad training if you want to be a reciprocal human being and if you want to learn how to participate in a real relationship. So, and then it's catastrophe for the women because none of those men are incentivized to, to form anything that approximates a long-term relationship. And then the rest of the men are left with nothing. Yeah, so that's, that's... That's disastrous for society. Disastrous, yeah, it's disastrous.